Hello, my name is Brian Holman. I'm the presiding judge for the City of Louisville Municipal Court. I've made this instructional video to help you understand your rights and to explain some of the options that you have when you appear before the court. First things first, you have the right to remain silent. That means that no one can force you to say anything. That includes me, that includes the prosecutor and the officer in the courtroom. You have the right to hire a lawyer to represent you in your case. However, because of the nature of the offense, this is a fine only class C misdemeanor. You do not have the right to have a free court appointed lawyer to represent you in your case. If you have questions about your charge or how you should handle your case, I urge you to consult with a lawyer. When you appear in court, you have three options. You can plead not guilty, you can plead guilty, or you can plead no contest. If you plead not guilty, that means that you want to challenge your charge in court, which is your absolute right to do. If you would like to plead not guilty, we will reset your case for another trial date. If you don't want to do that, if you want to plead either guilty or no contest, you have three options to dispose of your case when you come to court. Your first option is the driving safety course. That's for moving violations, things like running a red light, making an improper turn, or speeding. You qualify for a driving safety course if you have not completed a course within the 12 months preceding the date of your citation. If you're charged with a speeding offense, you cannot be going 25 miles an hour or over the posted speed limit. 24 and under, you still qualify. You have to have a valid Texas driver's license, proof of financial responsibility. For most of you, that's going to be an insurance policy. And there's a fee that you pay to the court instead of the fine. You will have 90 days to complete the course and turn in the certificate of completion, as well as a certified copy of your driving record. Successful completion of a driving safety course means your case will be dismissed. That's a good thing. Your second option is called deferred disposition probation. And it is what it sounds like. It's a type of probation during which time you cannot have any other offenses, whether it be moving or non-moving violation cases. You'll be put on a period of probation anywhere between 90 and 180 days. You'll pay a probation fee equivalent to the fine. There may be some other terms or conditions either requested by the prosecutor or imposed by me that you have to comply with. But assuming that you do what you are supposed to do within the time period allotted, your case will be dismissed. You qualify for deferred disposition if you have not been granted deferred in Louisville in the last 12 months and you're not currently on probation in some other jurisdiction. Your third option is simply to pay the fine. If you don't qualify for or just don't want to mess with the first two options, you can pay the fine. But keep in mind that if you pay a fine, it will result in a conviction and will be reported as required by law. Some other housekeeping matters. If you are appearing in court by video conference, there's some things we want you to remember. First, virtual courtrooms are just like any other courtrooms. The same rules and procedures apply. If you fail to comply with those rules, the bailiff will remove you from the courtroom until you do comply. Number two, proper clothing is required. E-court dress code is the same as if you were appearing in person. Number three, avoid background noise and distractions. Turn off your radio or your television so you can give full attention to the proceedings. Number four, do not record these proceedings. Number five, show respect for the process. There's an old saying that says, in order to get respect, you gotta give respect. The court personnel has been instructed to be courteous to you, and we simply want you to return that favor. So, if you have any questions when I call your name, I'll be happy to answer those questions for you. And remember, just because you ask a question doesn't mean you give up your right to remain silent. I look forward to seeing you in court.